Welcome to day one of the free five day breathing challenge. To begin, I'd love to invite this moment of breathing. Just take a breath, however you wanna breathe. Notice your breathing. You don't have to change anything about the way you're breathing. Pause for a moment and feel into how you breathe naturally, normally without trying to change a thing, which is funny because it's kind of hard to not change a thing when you focus on something that can be changed. Amazing how fun it is to explore breathing practices for me. Today, I wanna to introduce you to the difference between functional breathing and dysfunctional breathing. According to the book, Restoring Prana, Robin L. Rothenberg writes about functional breathing having specific parameters. The first being breathing in and out the nose. Next, an average of 10 to 12 breaths per minute having a completely passive and relaxed upper chest. So let's, let's like do it wrong. I, I did it wrong in a couple of ways. I moved my upper body and I made sound. And the next parameter is a silent inaudible breath. So see if you can breathe with a completely passive and relaxed upper chest and breathe inaudibly and silently. The next parameter for functional breathing is this rhythmic, not rigid, oscillation of the breath. So as you're breathing in and breathing out, it's like you're on a ride, a journey that is smooth and rhythmic and easy. And then the next aspect of this functional breathing, as opposed to dysfunctional breathing, is that the lower ribs move laterally. So the diaphragm, your breathing muscle, expands and contracts. It drops down into the belly. The moving of the ribs is really important here. Not only do you breathe front to back, but side to side. And then your abdominal synchronize with this diaphragmatic movement. And then offer yourself a natural resting pause at the end of the exhale, at the bottom of the breath to punctuate the end of the breath, the bottom of the breath. So this is very different from all my yoga years of Take a big breath in, um, expand your belly, fill your breath up all the way into the chest. This is, um, this is kind of new for me to be breathing low and slow and giving a little pause at the bottom of the breath. So this is your invitation to begin to experiment with functional breathing, to begin to experiment with relaxing the neck and chest and upper body while you allow the breath to float the ribs, the bottom ribs, and then see if you can breathe in and out your nose. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining.